Welcome to The Chic Show. Today is all about new Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. If you're looking to add some Easter charm to your home without breaking the bank, look no further than your local Dollar Tree. You too can create cute Easter decorations and crafts. For this first project, you'll need this St. Patrick's Day hanging decor piece from Dollar Tree. I removed the hat and I'm going to fill the hole at the top. Next, I cut off the brim of the hat because we'll be using something else in that place. The brim of the hat will now be this wood plaque from Dollar Tree. I'm going to give it a coat of Waverly chalk paint in ink. I'll also be painting the hat black with Waverly chalk paint and ink. I'm only giving a coat to the top and bottom part of the hat because the middle part will be covered up. I'm using several different pieces of ribbon from my ribbon stash in Easter colors to cover the middle. I secured each piece to the back. Now that I have my two largest pieces of ribbons attached, I'm going to add some smaller pieces to divide each section. I'm adding one more small piece of ribbon to the top. To cover up the messy back and also to help hold that ribbon secure, I did cover it with a piece of craft paper. Now our Easter Bunny hat needs some Easter Bunny ears, so I'm using this headband from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be removing the headband part and using just the ears. Now I'm going to cut off the ears and I'm going to secure those to the back of the hat using hot glue. the ears were still a little bit floppy, I went ahead and hot glued on a popsicle stick to the back of both ears. Now I'm going to be using some tumbling tower blocks that I painted black to attach to the top part of the hat so that we can hot glue that to the brim of the hat. And here's our cute little Easter Bunny hat. Now let's embellish it a little bit. I added on this purple felt flower from Dollar Tree and I felt like this was really all it needed. A new Easter Dollar Tree DIY using a St. Patrick's Day hat.
project number two, you'll need one of these wood Easter eggs from Dollar Tree. I did remove the tag on the back and sanded down the edges. Now I'm going to be giving the front, sides, and back a coat of fusion paint and French eggshell. It's the most beautiful blue color I've ever seen. Now I'm going to use one of these chalk couture stencils, this one right here that says you are a good egg. I'm going to place it down at the bottom right of the egg and I'll be using some regular chalk paint, Ballet Pink by Waverly. I embellished the top of the egg with a piece of ribbon and a little bow and also a raffia bow. This little Easter egg is good to go. To go along with the egg, I'm going to use this little wood bunny from Dollar Tree. I want it to look like a chocolate bunny, so I gave it a coat of Waverly chalk paint in truffle. Little chocolate bunny is also going to get a stencil, and I'm going to use white paint so that it will look more like icing. All he needs is a little raffia bow and this set was complete. If you saw my fabric video, then you saw my carrot pillow. And on the back side of the carrot pillow, I decided to hot glue some of these bunny butts so that I have an option of using the carrot side or the bunny side. Hope you've enjoyed these new Dollar Tree Easter DIYs. Love it if you give me a thumbs up and let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram at The Chic Show DIY. Thanks so much for watching. Share the chic. Bye now.